Hi. What is the importance of sequence of Newton's laws of motion? Do you know when first world war started? Yes. It was started in 1914. But when first war started, world war started, at that time it was not called first. But when second world war started or at the corner, then that world war was called first. Means there is reference of time sequence. In this case, in Newton's laws of motion, that is the case. Miss Newton developed this law first. After some days, he developed this law. No, there is no time sequence. Miss time is not the reason this first law is called first. One more example I have taken. First, second, third rank in exam. How this rank is determined? By getting more marks, student get higher rank. First rank means he has represented more information, more knowledge on his paper. That's why he got more marks. Same case can be applied to here. Means this law gives more information, more knowledge than this one. Or this gives important knowledge. That is not the case. There is no important, unimportant knowledge. Knowledge is knowledge. You can say different knowledge. Means again, we can't apply the same case as regarding these marks or information. Then why should it call first? We know there are uh, fundamental uh, physical quantities, seven fundamental physical quantities. And we can give any sequence length is first fundamental physical quantity no it is first you can take first or you can take mass as fundamental physical quantity which is first sequence can be altered you know before newton kepler developed laws of motion also but that laws related to planetary motion but kepler's laws are not regarding the sequence means you can't say this is first this is second this is third you can take any law as first means there are only three laws not first second third but for newton that is not case why we will see okay now <clears throat> i have taken example of bus moving bus okay in this case, velocity is remain constant. In this case, velocity is not constant. If velocity is constant, then you can say acceleration is zero. We have learned in first video, first law. In this case, velocity is not constant, means acceleration is not zero. Now, I have taken three examples means three situation example means three situation first situation I have taken zero kilometer per hour that is the velocity means you can see it is a rest that bus is at rest condition now this person which is inside bus and this is fixed table which you can see it is welded to the body of the bus and one object is placed on that table suppose this person exert some force take 50 newton and take this mass as a 5 kilogram means 50 newton force and 5 kilogram mass then there will be acceleration in forward direction yes how much uh, 50 upon 5 10 meter per second square suppose if velocity of that bus is not zero but it's 36 kilometer per hour I have taken again it is constant means it is going with 36 km per hour velocity constant again he has applied same force 50 Newton to same body 
again he will observe that acceleration is same 10 meter per second square third case speed of bus is 72 kilometer per hour again constant again he is applying same force again he observe same acceleration means all three cases gives same result result of acceleration because of applied force now same person is applying same force in this bus now what will happen if he is applying 50 newton force for first case now take first first case as acceleration is not zero take any acceleration 1 meter per second square this bus is accelerating with 1 meter per second square now velocity is not constant velocity is changing by this rate and he is applying same force 50 newton on same object 5 kilogram object I am neglecting friction here okay now because of same force he will not get same acceleration on that body means there is some problem problem created in this law in this bus suppose acceleration is increased suppose 1.5 meter per second square if this is acceleration and applied same force again he will get different acceleration means for same force he is getting different uh, effect of acceleration of this body because bus is accelerated by this quantity or this magnitude means acceleration of bus is changing that's why this person is observing that I am getting different effect on the body this yellow color body means he might be confused that second law is not applicable in this bus suppose bus is going in backward direction suppose it is minus 1 meter per second square again he will get different acceleration for same force means he will consider this law is not applicable in this bus means in this frame of bus that frame is called non-inertial frame but Newton's laws second law is applicable in this bus because it is having zero acceleration means constant velocity that frame or you can say that frame of reference or frame of bus is called inertial frame means Newton's second law is valid in this bus Newton's second law is not valid in this bus to make it valid Newton had to adjust one force that is you can say uh, imaginary force or you can say we can sense that force we can experience that force now there is um, uh, some difference between imaginary and uh, you can say or you can say apparent force this apparent force is termed as pseudo force by Newton means we have to adjust pseudo force to make second law valid that's why first law is important because first law gives the validity of second law you can't say second law means if force is zero then acceleration is zero means again we get the same condition means this is special case of second law no mathematically you can say if force is zero acceleration zero force is zero acceleration zero no problem but this is the frame you can say first law gives frame to make second law valid that frame is inertial frame therefore first law makes 
second and third law valid or you can say in reverse case in reverse sense second law and third law are valid in first law in inertial frame means without first law there is no validity of second and third law you got this thing means about second law what about third law in third law you can say in this case there is action there is reaction we have studied in last video no problem what about this case if he is applying force and suppose brake is applied by driver then this body will move in forward direction but he is applying force means he will sense somewhat less force because actually body is moving on itself because of that inertial non inertial frame but third law says there action there must be reaction means he will sense that yes there is action less action less reaction because that body is moving forward direction on itself if that bus is accelerated then this body will tend to move in upward opposite direction towards person he will sense the body is coming towards me and again applying same force then he will sense more force on this body on this surface on the palm means because of his own force he will get more force more than this his own force means force will be more in first case if that bus is means driver is applied brake then he will sense less force if driver is accelerated bus then he will sense more force but in every case there is action and equal reaction remember means third law is valid in this bus also for force concern regarding force it is valid but newton's laws of motion it is not newton's laws of force why they are called laws of motion because newton's laws of motion gives only effect of force it is not commenting on force therefore for means this law in this law there are two forces still it is called law of motion because it is giving it is giving motion it is giving effect of that force okay means in this case also there is action reaction but effect of that action reaction he will observe it is different effect that's why to make third law valid inertial frame is must but you can say regarding force third law is valid in this case also but if it is not same if it is not correct in this case second law can be valid sorry in this in this case means suppose he is increasing force there is increasing acceleration in this case also but effect will be different for different acceleration of bus that is the problem i think you got it what are the importance of sequence in next uh, video i will explain somewhat differentiation and integration is regarding difference means mathematics means difficult means boring no if you very well know, you are very well known about differentiation and integration no problem but some students don't take mathematics or they take mathematics but not easily getting that differentiation and integration for those students uh, i will explain what is derivative means actually in real life first i don't want formula we will create formula no problem but generally mathematics teachers say uh, what is derivative what is different it is simple subtraction what is integration it is simple addition but problem is if i have taken x cube then what is derivative of x cube with respect to x 
it is 3x square. Where is subtraction? I don't see there is subtraction. It is 3x square. Where is subtraction sign? Difference sign. I will definitely show where is that subtraction sign to you. Okay. We will meet next video. Thank you. Bye.